Hey everyone, welcome back to 25 Sweepies. Today for you, I'm swatching a part of a new collection from Glam Polish. They're releasing a Valentine's 2021 special edim special limited edition release and that means that these will not be restocked and actually in my like little information sheet for these polishes it says they are strictly limited quantities so you definitely want to be there earlier so it is a valentine's collection however there are about half and half of a valentine like polish and an anti-valentine's polish so you're gonna see a mixture of names also i noticed that in all of the names they're actually movie titles as well so that'll make it really fun if you are a big movie watcher or you just like it when things are like named after pop culture sort of things i know i personally like that because sometimes you know them more but yeah i'm swatching five of the polishes and they are a mixture of the two and in the full collection, there is actually a, like a full 10 polishes. So we'll be getting through quite a few. And this last one, I really wanted to like take some time and move it around because as you guys can see, like, there's a lot of color going on in this polish. Sorry, dropped it there. Um, but there's so much going on. It is so pretty. And this one, whenever we do swatch it, I think is a bit of like a shocker because it looks so different as you apply it. So first up, we're going to start with a shade called The Princess Bride, and this is really pretty. It's described as a light pink scattered hollow with a shifting iridescent flaky and an ultra hollow glitter. Now, on me, I felt like this polish didn't necessarily like ring exactly the same as it does in the bottle. I don't know if it's just because my skin tone is a little more pinky, so therefore it doesn't pop as much off of my nails, if that makes any sense. I also found that it needed three cuts. That all being said, this is like a really nice way to have a really neutral-like polish on your nails, yet also have like a lot of colors from the hollow. So really nice, covered in about, what did I say? Three coats. The next shade is called a Cinderella Story, and this is described as a light blue scattered hollow with a shifting iridescent flaky and an ultra hollow glitter. So this is basically the same makeup of the last polish, but in a blue format. And this one pops off like more vibrantly on me compared to the first one. So I really liked it and it was really good in two coats. The next shade is called The Wedding Singer, and this one is actually a white curly, so it's going to take a little bit to build up, and it has a mixture of metallic and matte and neon glitters, so I feel like it's just a really fun polish because you're never like 100% sure what it's going to look like when you're done, which is one of the fun things with these sort of mixtures and it being a curly. I liked about three coats for this one because I felt like that allowed a lot of layers, and it just like fully looked like a little opaque design so I really liked it the next shade is called gone girl and this one is a dark purple jelly with a shifting iridescent flicky and a mixture of white glitter this one is really cool so it is like on the first coat it definitely looks more like a grape purple but then you put it on in two coats it definitely deepens and it just looks like a really nice rich purple and the glitter mixture is so fun then the last shade, which was also the last shade that I was twirling around earlier, is called Basic Instinct. And as you guys can see here, like, this looks completely different than what it looked like in the bottle. And it's really cool because of that, actually. So this is described as a black jelly, which explains why it looks the way it does as we build up here. And it has a shifting multi-chrome flaky and an aurora shimmer. So in two coats, you get the flakies, you get it to that neat finish that you had on in the bottle and it just looks really really cool so here is a final look at all of the polishes there are a lot of fun fun ones here and I feel like there's like a good mixture of colors so if you want bright there's something for you if you want light and understated there's something and dark you know there's also something so these are releasing on friday january 29th at 2 p.m eastern standard time and i will have a link to the glam polish website down below in the description box if y'all want to head over there and shop depending on when you are watching this video and yeah, I think that is officially it. So if y'all have any questions, feel free to let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have a lot more videos coming very soon. I feel like as we, we approach February, a lot more is going to release. So yeah, I think that finishes it up for this video. And I will talk to y'all very soon. Bye.